everyone, I'm Jody. welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here today. If you're like me, you are always looking for the perfect foundation for your more mature skin. If I had the skin that I had 20 years ago, then finding the right foundation may not feel like such a chore. However, as we've gotten older, skin has changed, and the need for the right foundation has also changed because yes, we have fine lines and wrinkles, and yes, we know that some settling into those fine lines and wrinkles is going to happen. I would like to find a foundation where it doesn't look accentuated, where after about 20 minutes of application, my makeup doesn't look slippery or excessively shiny. I want it to stay looking flawless and sort of blurred, sort of filtered throughout the day, inside and outside under a variety of lights. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is, especially with how advanced cosmetic companies have gotten today. So have no fear, I have got you guys covered. I have found what I think is the best foundation for more mature skin that is out on the market. Now again, I have not tried every single foundation that's been ever created. However, if you have watched my channel before, you know I'm a big fan of this Tom Ford foundation. I'm also a big fan of this Chanel foundation, and this has been a staple of mine for a really long time. Dior Forever makes a fantastic foundation. Clay to Pose Cream is one of my go-tos if there's a special event and I need a very glammed up look. Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk, a nice foundation. That new MAC face pin that I highlighted a few weeks ago, that's a good foundation. Milani's 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer, another good foundation. It Cosmetics makes a good foundation. L'Oreal Infallible, again, a nice foundation. And I know many of you love the Double Wear Foundation by Estee Lauder. It says it's the number one selling foundation. I struggle with finding why that is. I am not a fan of this, but I think that the foundation that I'm gonna share with you today is way better than this one even. So what makes my number one choice better than all of these? Well, each one of these do something a little bit different and they hit on maybe three or four of the key things I would want, but it's not the perfect all around foundation. For example, this one leaves a beautiful finish. It's just not a real full coverage, so you do need to build it. And once you start to build it, it can look a little bit cakey. This one is a long lasting, really pretty foundation. It just tends to pull a little bit warm. So for those of us with more cool skin tones, this one just is harder to find your right match. But when you do, it's a nice foundation. So when you look at all the things that you want your foundation to do, things like a good coverage that you can shear down or you can build up that's not cakey. You want a foundation that has a nice natural finish, not too matte, not too satiny. You also want a foundation that's not gonna settle into fine lines and wrinkles. You'd like to have a foundation that has skincare in it. The one I'm gonna share with you today not only has 20 skincare ingredients, one of them helps reduce redness and helps with environmental stresses on your skin. You're also looking for one that helps illuminate the skin, helps the skin look more hydrated and plump. And if we could, we'd love to have it cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. Check, 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 this foundation has all of those. But the very best thing about this foundation that I'm gonna share with you is my top pick for more mature skin is it does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles to the degree that many of these other ones do. And it has 51 shades. 21 of those shades are in the more darker skin tones. So it's a very inclusive foundation with skincare built in and it wears well on our more mature skin. All right, let me tell you just one more thing that's important for you to know. I have combination skin. I'm very oily in the T-zone and I'm more dry in the cheek area. So I need a foundation that can adapt to both of those areas while using a little bit of a primer in my forehead to help absorb the oil and I don't use powder except for just underneath my eyes to set my concealer. I've used this foundation on other people where I've needed to set it with a powder. It looks flawless. You guys, when I tell you that this is a foundation that I think you're really gonna like, I take that seriously because I know it's your hard-earned money that you're considering spending on this foundation. It's $45. I think it's worth every cent. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased this foundation with my own money and I've shared it with you guys before. I know many of you use it already, so it may not be a surprise to everyone. So if you're ready, let's just jump in. I'm gonna share with you how I apply it and then I'll show you what it looks like inside as well as outside lighting because that is an important factor when we're considering the right foundation. 
All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you in real time. Well, it's not really real time, but kind of real time because I'm filming it and then you're going to see it. And there's no trickery. There's no filters, none of that. I just want to share with you why I love this foundation and think that it is the best overall foundation for almost all skin types. And there's a little tiny asterisk when I say almost all, and I'll tell you that in just a second. Right out of the gate, what makes this foundation so incredible is it has over 51 shades. 50 shades, oh, it's, that's why it sounds so close. 51 shades of greatness. If we could just have a round of applause for a second for 51 shades of foundation. It is one of the foundations with the widest shade range, and over 21 of those shades are meant for darker skin tones. So I absolutely love that about this line. It is very inclusive. There's certainly room to expand, but 21 out of 51 colors being in the darker shade tones. Love that. So thank you for all the work that went into that. All right, so I want to go into all the details that makes this my number one foundation for the variety of skin types. And there are so many things to love about this foundation. It's $45 for one ounce. What you get for that is cruelty free, gluten free, and it's vegan. What I'm doing right now is just putting on my sunscreen and then I just put on my moisturizer, which is the L'Oreal Collagen Moisture Filler. I've talked about that one before. Before. I'm just gonna let that sit into my skin while I tell you guys some more amazing things about this product. This foundation is very versatile for a lot of different skin types. It's medium buildable coverage. So you can start out with a medium coverage and then you can build it up to a full coverage if you want, or you can scale it back to more of a sheer coverage or a tinted moisturizer type coverage just by mixing it with a little bit of your moisturizer. So you really have the ability to go on lighter days. You can go more sheer light coverage. You can do medium for more of an everyday if you want, and then you can build it up to go full coverage for those more special glam nights. So I like that you have the versatility. Most of the days I like to wear a medium to full coverage, but there are days when I want a light sheer coverage. Like if I'm gonna be out at a pool or something and I don't wanna look really made up, but I want an even out complexion and smooth texture, then I would love a sheer coverage. And I don't wanna to have to have a tinted moisturizer on hand and a foundation because it's not cost effective and I just don't like the extra stuff around. I just would prefer to simplify and get the most out of one product. I'm just adding some concealer. I'm using the NW15 by MAC. I had forgotten how much I liked this concealer. It's a little bit thicker, but I don't apply nearly as much as I used to be able to back in the day. I'm gonna under sculpt by putting some cream blush on underneath my foundation. That way it gives you guys a chance to also see how it wears on top of this type of an emollient product for those of you that like to under sculpt. The House Labs by Lady Gaga Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation. If we could shorten that, that'd be awesome. A natural finish is the most flattering finish of all the finishes, whether you have oily skin, combination skin, or dry skin. So again, perfect foundation for that. Now, if you wanted to add a little more glow to it, you can add some highlighter, maybe liquid highlighter for dry skin or powdered highlighter for oily skin. And on the flip side, if you wanted to matte this down and have more of a matte look, you could do that by applying a matte face powder. Again, I wouldn't do that if you have dry skin, but if you have oily skin, that's not a bad idea. It helps control the oil. This also has 20 plus skincare ingredients in it. One of them is fermented arnica, which helps reduce redness. This is a nice lightweight, almost serum type consistency. I use about two pumps and this is the Sephora 70 brush. I have loved this brush for foundation lately. A couple weeks ago, I reviewed the new foundation by MAC, the Studio Fix Face Pin, and they had suggested that you get this brush with it. And I was using it, I'm like, I don't really quite get the purpose of this brush, but you guys, I have gotten the purpose of this brush since I've been using it, and I'll show you why here in just a second. I like to put my foundation on with this brush. Now to show you how good this foundation is, I had an IPL um, five days ago, and when you get an IPL, it takes your darker pigment and brings it to the surface, and then it dries and sloughs off. And my skin is just in that process right now, so I've got darker spots than normal right through here on the side of my face. You can see them right up through there. Again, that's my discoloration and my pigmentation that is coming to the surface, which will be gone, which I'm super excited about. That's what happens when you ride in the backseat of a convertible with your dad for five hours in the sun and you don't have your normal sunscreen. So sun damage and yeah, but we got rid of it and nice bright skin days are ahead. So I have to just put the foundation everywhere with this brush. Make sure that it's blended everywhere. 
This foundation is also hypoallergenic and it is a long wearing foundation. I have it in color 200, which is the light medium neutral. And I found the perfect shade for me by going on the House Labs website. You can see here just how easy it is to find your color match. You just click on a couple different prompted questions and it helps you find the best shade. That's how I found my shade and it's a perfect match for me, which doesn't usually happen on the first try when it comes to foundations. I usually get foundations that are too warm and they just don't look right on me. And anything warm does not look right on me. I have to stay very neutral or more to the cool side. It's a nice lightweight foundation. I don't feel like I have foundation on. And again, it goes on more like a serum than a liquid or a cream, which makes applying it and blending it more seamless and a lot easier for beginners all the way up to a more advanced makeup person. Now you can see just how nicely that covers. Next, I'm gonna grab Max 171S, which is that angled dual fiber brush that I shared with you earlier. And I'm just gonna go all around and press that in my skin and kind of buff it a little bit by pushing it in and making small circular motions. And you can see how just it melts into your skin without feeling like there's anything on your skin. Then I use this brush to go right on top of that concealer that we used by MAC earlier. And here's why I love this brush so much, you guys. See how this is a straight edge? You can take that edge right at the outer corner of your eye and just clean up that edge of your eyeshadow or your eyeliner, whatever you've got carried over there. And it just gives you that nice crisp line as though you did a really nice wing. And those aren't always easy to do, but the straight edge on this brush makes it look like I know what I'm doing. So I have learned to love this brush when at first I didn't really understand the benefit of it, but I get it now, MAC. Some of my favorite brushes when I was in my 30s and 40s were MAC brushes, and I don't know why I ever strayed away from them. What are some of your favorite brushes? Are they still MAC? I, I don't know why I steered away, but I am returning lately. I didn't use a primer with this foundation today because I wanted to show you just how flawlessly it blends into your skin without a primer. So if you don't wear a primer, you should expect similar results. If you do wear a primer, you will still love the way this lays on top of that primer. I've used Elf's Poreless Putty Primer underneath it, as well as my Guerlain Liquid Primer underneath it, and both have worked remarkably well. I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder bronzer just to give some color and some dimension back to my face so that it's not all one color. I'm really excited, you guys. I've almost finished working out all the kinks with live streaming, because how fun would that be to once a week do a live stream together where we can actually interact and you guys can comment and ask questions and I can see it in real time. I thought that would be a really fun way for us to just continue to develop a community and connect with one another. So um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to see. I'm almost there. I just had to switch out a different camera because I didn't like the way one was working. And then I've done two tests just with family members just to make sure the connection is clear and there's no glitches in it. Best laid plans, right? Something will glitch, but I'm super excited about being able to offer that as a service. All right, now I'm just gonna add the Smashbox Halo. This is just a liquid highlighter glow. I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of this. You do not need to add extra glow on top of this foundation because it is a really pretty natural look already but I thought why not because it's summertime and you know, glowing skin is in. Well, I like to use my fingers when I use a liquid highlighter. I just feel like it helps blend the product into my skin or into the foundation or whatever product I put in that area. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of this camo concealer. This is the Hydrating Concealer by e.l.f. And I'm not really using this to conceal anything. I'm just using it to brighten up this under eye area and add some light right through in the temple area where I've lost some volume and I would like it to appear more full and plump in this area. We have become really crafty, haven't we, as we've gotten older? I mean, think of the art skills that we have developed, being able to sculpt and add volume, when in our 20s and teens, all we tried to do was get rid of volume. I had the biggest cheeks when I was little. My sister was tall and thin, and I was very much the Ernie in the Burton Ernie scenario. My cheeks were so big when I was little, and I hated them. I felt like I looked like a chipmunk all the time. If I'd only known then. A little volume in your face as you age looks so youthful. I am envious for anybody that's got just nice plump roundness to their face. So now you see why this is my top selection for the best foundation all around for more mature skin. Works well with oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, light skin, dark skin. 
sheer coverage, full coverage, medium coverage, natural finish. You can go satin finish, you can go matte finish. And not only does it look good indoors, it looks good outdoors. Hey you guys, sorry for me squinting, but I was looking for the brightest, sunniest place outside to show you this foundation under normal lights, just so that you can see how it wears outside of that studio lighting, which can sometimes be more helpful to more mature skin, but out in the sun, we see it all. So you can see between oily skin, dry skin areas, and old skin, this foundation still looks flawless. I'm filming this part of the video two days after what you saw in the studio. Same foundation, not exact, not the same application, but the same foundation. And this has been on for six and a half hours because I really wanted to show you what it looks like after it's been worn for several hours and outside. I do have on a little bit of powder blush as well as some powder bronzer and then a little bit of powder just underneath where I set my concealer. But other than that, this is how the foundation wears. It's still a nice natural finish. There's still really good coverage and it hasn't accentuated my fine lines and wrinkles. I hope this video has helped you find the right foundation for your more mature skin. It has a lot of varieties and colors and shades. It's got skincare, it's good coverage, and it wears well all day. That does it for me, you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.